What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am Nick, here with Ryan and Ty. What's up? Uh, the people have spoken. Oh. They want April wine. <laughs> they want it now. No, the Canadians are calling their name. Oh. For sure. They're like, come on, guy. Where's the April wine at, buddy? <laughs> is, that the, is that the Canadian <laughs> accent? <laughs> We've done three songs so far. Roller was a lot of fun. Yes, it was. Then we did Sign of the Gypsy Queen, mm. uh, which was more vibey and very powerful. And then we did Crash and Burn, which was like a racetrack boogie. Yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah. Crash and burn. <laughs> you brought that one. I did. So yeah, it, it's just been too long. And I just like how the three we've done so far, they've all kind of stood out on their own. You know, they're all very different. You know, we've heard what they're capable of. And all those songs have made my playlist. If you're new to the channel, like, none of us had ever heard of April Wine before. No. <laughs> so no. every time we react to them, it's a new listen for all of us. And all three of those songs we've heard should have been played more here in the U.S. A lot of you were commenting like, well, you just got to find your classic rock station. Like, we're not talking like Sirius XM here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is just local radio. Like, I don't listen to the radio anymore, but I used to a lot. And it was never on these stations. No, never. Never. It's just strange to us that uh, we had no idea they existed until we started the channel. They fit the classic rock bill, but yet... It's just been blocked from us. There are several of their songs that you guys have requested. Uh, we will get to them. You know, we hope you understand that uh, we try to work our way up to these requests. You know, here and there we'll break one out. But for the most part, we do the same with every artist. You start with a hit, then you kind of go middle ground and you work your way up. You know, we just hope you guys understand that. We want to take the journey the right way. And we want the audience to take the journey the right way. So we are reacting to Weeping Widow. Kind of sounds like the name of a poem. The Weeping Widow by Walt Whitman. <laughs> sounds like a roller coaster. Bro, you're so chicken. You won't ride the Weeping Widow. <laughs> <laughs> I could not find any background on this song. Mm. Uh, that rarely happens. So if you have any facts of interest, please comment. What we do know is that it's from the third album, Electric Jewels. Mm. Released in 1973, which oddly enough sounds like another roller coaster. <laughs> Electric Jewels. <laughs> this album was marked by significant changes as the Hinman brothers left the band and were replaced by guitarist Gary Moffat and drummer Jerry Mercer. Moffat and Mercer, we've heard some of their work so far, and we are very fond. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this song is the opener, and it's the earliest slash oldest April Wine song that we've had on the channel. Mm. So uh, I'm interested to hear what they sounded like. Uh, as a baby, <laughs> you might say. <laughs> yeah, it's been too long. This is April Wine, Weeping Widow. Oh. 
It's very different than the last ones. Yeah. These switch-ups in transition, they're kind of catching me off guard, to be honest. It started with that nice acoustic. The drums didn't really come in, you know, with the toms until later on. I'm not even sure what the chorus is in this. I, I guess it's this free in the bird. Uh, free yeah, free right. as a bird in the skyline yeah. right here. They're just kind of all over the place. I'm not saying that in a bad way. It's just like, bam, 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 bam. It's kind of like... It's uh, like they're trying to hit everything in this song. Rapid fire. Trying to catch it, but I do know that I like it for sure, and that guitar is uh, is going off. It's just freestyling. It's like, okay, we, we got you. <laughs> <laughs> but I really do like uh, the overlap between the acoustic and the electric. That was very nice. Right here. That harmony. Out the cage. Wow. <laughs> that was such a unique song. Yeah, it was very different than the other ones. Yeah, I, re I really didn't want to stop it because it's like, I don't, I don't even know where to stop. You know, <laughs> these transitions yeah. are just crazy. I kind of felt like this kind of had a mix of genres in it. Yeah. Uh, a little jazzy with the drums at parts, that acoustic. I felt like that type of like acoustic pattern is kind of ahead of its time. You know, that's that kind of reminds me of like some like gothic folk, to be honest. Um, I don't know if I've dabbled in that before. <laughs> Southern gothic, gothic folk, same yeah. thing. So yeah, I feel like I'll give that uh, a few more listens to see what I really think of it. I think the mix might have been the mix was a little oh. off. I thought so that might have hindered it a little bit, especially the guitar. Yeah, I know the guitar was going off, but it was it was kind of low in this mix. Yeah, I do know that I like it. Um, I just it's very hard to like come to a determination though. If I had to take a guess, it'll probably end up making the playlist. You could tell that this is early in the early days. Yeah, for sure. It's a little all over the place for me. I like the part whenever they you know they break down. And then, ding, 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 you know, they let the guitar sound a little bit. That was nice. But just the overall song just didn't hit for me. It didn't flow well for yeah, you? Yeah, it just, I, was, I would get grooved in on one thing, and then they would change it. So, like, it would just throw me off guard. It's sad to say, because I've actually enjoyed the songs yeah. we've done. April Wines had some great songs. Yeah. You know, the other, all the other ones I've enjoyed. But this one, it's not hitting. Yeah, the, uh, I'm not a big fan of it. I don't know. It, I mean, it had highlights. 
Yeah, you know, like there's highlights. I said, there were some parts in there. The drums yeah. did good, or you know, somebody did good. Even the vocals was good at times. But we yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was nice. Yeah, that was. But nice. I'm saying like there was just it just didn't come together. I just don't like the the melody of the. Da, 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 da. That you just, didn't care for that. Yeah, that's just. I think it's too note. much. But I mean, all those songs have been phenomenal. It's just this yeah, one those songs are not skips, which is not bad because. Every per, everybody, everybody has, has bad songs. songs. You know, I wouldn't even consider this bad. No, this isn't a bad. It song. just doesn't come together, like you said. Yeah. I think there's good ideas in here. I do feel like this is kind of ahead of its time. Yeah. Uh, honestly, even with better production, this might have hit yeah. <laughs> a little better. To yeah. be honest, I really did love that acoustic part. Like that. That would be a part that I would want to learn yeah. on guitar and matching that with the electric. I actually really dug that part. Uh, it's just as a whole. It yeah. doesn't come together. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just one of those things. It's like if you have, like, chocolate cake on one side, right? And then the other side, you have, like, a steak. Like, <laughs> they're both great. I just don't know if they should be eaten together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This probably kicks ass live. I mean, it probably yeah, just yeah. does. This would be way better live. Yeah. Either way, it's, it's definitely not an offensive song in any way. It's good. It's just not playlist worthy. Yeah, we'll get back to April Wine. You know, just because this one didn't hit doesn't mean they're not a great Oh, band. they'll be back. Because yeah. we know there's one out there. What <laughs> you guys We're not going to hide them from the channel like people hid them from us. That's right. <laughs> it's not going to happen. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait until next time. That's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like. And as always, please tell us your views. Thank you for subscribing and hitting that bell. Peace, Peace out. out.